لي يلا كوستر خاكيه لا بعدني What's it like to drive a bus around Baghdad? صعبة شلون؟ ازدحامات ومنها انفجارات وسيطرات. هاي الحياة يعني صعبة. Did you go to school? صرت للخامس وبطلت. 16 year old Haider works part time as a bus driver, even though he doesn't yet have his license. And you've been driving since you were 15, no one stopped you? يهزون السيارة يقصوا الهواصل. هسا لا سووها حتى سجن. Sounds quite risky. What's the point? Why are you still doing it? Iraq's economy is in shambles. When Haider isn't driving a bus, he's doing what hundreds of thousands of young Iraqi men wind up doing, fighting. For the last two years, Haider has fought with a local Shia militia against IS and he's about to head back out to the front lines. This is your room? Hey, ma. It's not what I imagined for a fighter's room. <laughs> I love your little care bears up here. Do you miss it when you're not here? Yes, I'm always but I'm better than you. I'm better than you. I love to kill Have you ever killed someone? I mean, it's a lot, three, four. I mean, the stories we have to kill them, I don't know how much. It's a lot of have you lost any friends? Ah, Allah is a friend. He was a friend of mine. He didn't have a marriage with a lot of people. So, he didn't have a marriage with a lot of people. He didn't have a marriage with a lot of people. He didn't have a marriage with a lot of Oh, this is your friend who died? Yes, this is the session. How do you feel looking at these photos? I mean, I'm a friend. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm a friend. Wow. Oh my God, what's that? This is Rus Mal Maratum. This is Daesh. Why do you like to take photos of the heads? Hatta Ovan Dekrayat. Oh my God, it's pretty gruesome. Hey, Jamaatna Nus Yasas at Rus Huns, Tarat Galab Hum. Why did you take this photo? In my Shufa Avraha, I will Dola Bidal Jamaat Rahau, Al Tarum. You don't mind your son having these photos on his phone? Do you feel like he's missing out on anything by going off to fight at such a young age? Yes, of course. I didn't complete the study. I said to the future, I didn't complete it. One of the country's most tragic casualties to the disruption of war is the nation's once thriving education system. Under the dictatorship of Saddam, schools were secular and free. Primary school enrollment was nearly 100%. But since the fighting began in 2003, there have been tens of thousands of education-related attacks, forcing one out of every five schools to close. Over the last 15 years, the city of Fallujah has seen some of the worst violence in Iraq. We went there to see one of the only schools that's been reopened since the area was reclaimed from Islamic State. Iraq used to have one of the best education systems in the Arab world, and now over a third of the kids in the country are out of school, not receiving any education at all. This is actually one of the more fortunate schools. Um, you can see it's still been pretty badly hit. There are hundreds of students studying here, crammed into tiny little classrooms. The teachers are saying that they don't have enough textbooks, they don't have enough chairs for the kids to sit on, and that they haven't received any government support or funding. As more and more students show up at what's left of the school, the headmistress is scrambling to accommodate as many as she can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
More than a million school-aged children have been displaced since the rise of the Islamic State. How long have you been at this school for? Why did you have to leave this town? المفروض احنا هسه بالدرجه الاولى بين الدول العالم يعني اقول هذول احفادي هسه من يكبرون يعني بهيك وضع شلون يعيشوا اطفالنا اللي تدمرت بنسحب منها يعني Even for the students who are lucky enough to get some form of an education, there are few opportunities once they finish school. For younger adults, the unemployment rate is estimated at almost 40%. Iraqi youth are so disillusioned with the situation that thousands have taken to the streets in protest. In 2016, demonstrators stormed the heavily guarded government green zone, demanding reforms. Months later, the protests in Baghdad are still going on. We're just entering a square where, for years now, hundreds, if not thousands, of protesters have been showing up every single Friday to express their dissatisfaction with corruption, with lack of jobs, with a million different grievances that young people here in Iraq have. خرجنا بتظاهرات سلمية للمطالبة بمحاسبة الفاسدين اليوم العراق نحكم من قبل ثلة فاسدة اليوم الطبقة الشبابية كل طبقات الشعب العراق تعاني الأمرين اليوم المخصصات مخصصات الحكومة يأخذون الملايين الملايين والشعب العراق كل شماله بأنه الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية هي التي هي التي تتحمل المسؤولية تتحمل عن مليون ونصف المليون شهيد بالعراق البنى التحتية اللي دمرت في بلدنا هي تتحملها ربما كان كان يحكمنا الطاغوت صدام عليه اللعنة فأذهبوا بصدام وأتوا بمئة صدام أمريكا التي أتت بالمالكين على ظهر الدبابة أتت به إلى العراق فأفسد فساد فاق على صدام بيض وجه صدام مثل ما نقول Billions of dollars have disappeared from Iraq's economy due to corruption under Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, who the US helped put in power. Even now that Maliki's gone, the economy is in worse shape than ever, and corruption is still rampant. To find out how top officials are answering to these youth-led protests, we met with Iraq's Minister of Youth. Every Friday, still hundreds of protesters gather in Tahrir Square. There's so much anger amongst young people towards politicians like yourself. Do you feel at all guilty that you're sat here in this throne earning one of the best salaries in the country? أكيد إحنا يعني نتحمل لكن نساهم ونبذل كل ما نستطيع من أجل أن نقوم بواجبنا. للأسف الشديد برغم من المبالغ الكبير كبيرة اللي صرفت في العراق والموارد النفطية اللي تعرفون تقدر بمئات المليارات من الدولارات لكن لا زال هناك نسبة بطالة كبيرة بين الشباب. بتقدير ما استثمرت هذه الأمور كل هذه النقاط القوة لصياغة دولة أو يعني وجود دولة قوية. What's at stake here if the situation doesn't turn around for young people in Iraq? What's the future of the country look like? هذا الخطر هو الأكبر. ثم يوم عن يوم راح تزداد نسبة البطالة. شراب الإنسان من المخالفات على كل المستويات ممكن أن تروح على قضايا أكبر حتى على المستوى الإرهاب وغيرها. فقر هو يعني هو اللي يهدم الشعوب هو اللي ينهي كل شيء. But there are certain groups who have something to gain from the discontent sweeping across Iraq. Sectarian militias divided across religious and political lines are recruiting at an alarming rate. We went to one front line with a Sunni militia leader whose ranks are filled with disenfranchised young men eager to join the fight against ISIS. You pummeled that fish, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Did that feel good? Do you often shoot 
The river? Ian Arm. What were you doing before that? What would you be doing if you weren't fighting? So you never went to school? No, no. How much longer do you think you'll be fighting for? What do you think your country will be like once ISIS is left? Do you guys fight with any Shia militia? لا لا كل واحد إن شاء الله. هم على جنب وإحنا على جنب. إحنا سني. إيه هم بس إن شاء الله كله يعني قاتل الدواعي كل سوء. The Sheikh doesn't agree. لا ما هو ما لا شو ما. إذا شيء تعدى على على قيمنا وعلى مبادئنا وعلى مناطقنا نحارب. Men are pretty young. What were you doing when you were their age? <laughs> Quite a different life to the life that these young guys have. You've only recently recruited these men. Was it easy to encourage them to join up? لا لا مو توظيفهم ماكو صعوبة بس إنما توظيفهم راح يكون صعوبة في الدوائر المدنية بعد ما ينتهي داعش. من لا ظلوا السياسيين يحكمون هذا البلد فقرع عليه السلام وهذا قرع عليهم السلام. And once ISIS is eradicated, do you think that that's it? Or do you think that there might be more tension between Shia and Sunni militias? Well, I think it's not what I mean. I think it's going to happen if they want to separate the government, it's going to be a mess and a mess between the government and the government. It would seem that the stage is already set for the next sectarian war once Islamic State is gone. To make matters worse, religious leaders on both sides are escalating the call to war amongst ever younger and impressionable kids. In 2014, Shia religious clerics issued fatwas that made it a religious duty for even children to take up arms. We met with one of the clerics responsible in the Shia city of Najaf. You yourself have issued a fatwa to encourage young men to go and fight. Some of the people who are going off to fight are just boys. I've seen some of them. Do you think that they can fully comprehend the magnitude of what they're getting themselves into? <laughs> القتل لنا عادة وكرامتنا على الله الشهادة. بس اللي سهل عندنا. And you say it's easy for you, but I also met the families of young boys who are heading out to fight, and I don't think it would be easy for them. ليقتل من يقتل. قلت أنا على أن القتل لنا عادة. نحن لا نتأثر بالقتل. هذه الحياة معبر لنا. You were talking about young people like they're almost disposable. Is any age too young to go and fight, do you think? Do you have any sons? Yes. Do they fight? It's quite convenient, though, that you're asking other people's children to go and fight and not asking your own. لم نقل لواحد اذهب بنفسك الى هناك هو بالخيار يريد يروح ما نمنع يريد ما يروح ايضا ما نمنع هو محترم على كل خياراته. While more and more discontented youth pour into the militias, the toll has already been staggering. Some estimate that more than a million Iraqis have been killed since 2003. We're just in Najaf Cemetery, which is one of the largest cemeteries in the world. Literally, as far as you can see, it's just millions of graves. Looking at these photos, everyone's so young. This whole area is cordoned off for volunteers like Haider. Several of his friends are buried here. We visited the grave of Haider's friend, Alawi, who was recently killed in battle. This is Alawi. Alawi, come how old was he when he died? 
How many of your friends are buried here? And how many more of your friends do you think you'll be burying? I don't know. 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 I Go and fight in Iraq? Hey, Tawan. Tawan, Adni and Azrayer, our Allah, she hello. At La Toba, Twanis, Yanni, I Samuel Satai, Sello, he got a shoe. Bad Timon, Nakwar, Sholan, Sholat, has through Hyan, Chevier, Mosrayer. Ma, Hatamaha said I had Bishawab. Now, Marcus, she. 